hello and welcome in this tutorial you're going to learn how to solve this math olympiad equation is it something you can do let's know your own method in the comments i'm going to teach you the easiest way to do it and don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments it helps us to serve you best let's do this together now when you look at this you are giving mq plus this equal to 42. this is what we call cubic equation why it is cubic because the highest power of this m is 3. so what it means is that we are to find three values of m now let me show you how to do it so we're going to begin this with solution now what do you do observe that at the right side we have 42 and at the left side we have m cubed plus 5m now we're going to ask ourselves question is there any number we can cube and then multiply by 5 when we add them together, it gives us 42. Let's look at that. Let's take m to be equal to 1. So we have 1 cubed plus 5 into 1. You observe that this is not close to 42. Now we can try m as 2. We have 2 cubed plus 5 into 2. 2 cubed is 2 multiplied 3 times to give us 8 plus plus this will give us 10 is not also equal to 42 did you see that now let's try when m is 3 you are going to have it that 3 to the power of 3 plus 5 into 3 3 cubed is 3 multiplied 3 times did you see that then plus 5 times this is 15 when you multiply this it gives you 27 and add 15 to it you see it gives you 42 so what do we do? It means that this 42, we are going to replace it with this. So let's rewrite this to now have m cubed plus 5m is equal to 42. Now remember we said that this 42, we are going to rewrite to use this as 3 cubed plus 5 into 3. So substituting it, we are going to have m cubed plus 5m is equal to 3 cubed plus 5 into 3. I hope you are with me. Now, what do we do again? We are going to collect terms together, especially the cube ones should be together and this one should be together for easy solving. Remember, this is positive, so to remove it to subtract, we are going to now have m cubed, this will be negative 3 cubed, then we have plus 5m, Subtract this, you have negative 5 into 3, and everything is equal to 0. Now, what do you do again? You observe that this has led you to difference of two cubes. Just quickly remember that for every a cubed minus b cubed, it is given as a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. Apply this here. We are going to have it as... This will give us m minus 3, okay, into, remember this is your a and this is your b. So into m squared plus, multiply this, you have 3m plus, this 3 will be raised to power of 2, okay. Then for this, what did you observe? You observed that 5 is common at the 2. So you are free to factor 5 out. Did you see that? So we're going to have plus. So we bring that 5, okay? Open a bracket. Use 5 to divide 5m. It gives you m minus. Use 5 to divide this. It gives you 3. And everything is equal to 0. So we solve from here again to have. You observe carefully that m minus 3 is repeated. Did you see that? Remember, these two are together and these are together. So since this m minus 3 is repeated, we are going to factor it out. So we have m minus 3 into, use m minus 3 to divide these two. So we're going to have m minus 3 divided, so we have m squared plus 3m plus 3 squared, divide it by this. Did you see? So this we can see we are left with this. Did you see that? So we're going to have m squared plus 3m plus 3 squared, which is 3 multiplied 2 times to give us 9. Did you see that? Okay. 
Then use this also to divide 5 into n minus 3. Divide it by n minus 3. So this we can see we are left with plus 5. Did you see that? And all these are equal to 0. Now what do we do again? Just quickly remember that for every a, b to be equal to 0, a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. So this is going to guide us. So to do that, we are going to have that. It's either that n minus 3 is equal to 0 or this. So what do we do? Let's work this out first. You add 3 to both sides because it's subtraction. So if you do that, m will be, this will be off. So we add this to give us 3. So you see we have gotten m as 3 as we saw at the beginning. Okay. Now let's also solve this. So we are going to now have also... We have n cubed, m squared plus 3m plus 9 plus 5 is equal to 0. You observe that this has led you to quadratic because the highest power of m is now 2. So let's solve this quadratically. So we're going to have m squared plus this is 3m. Add this, it gives you 14 is 0. So you just remember your formula for your quadratic equation. And n is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, your a is always the quotient of the squared. So the quotient of m squared is always is 1 in this question, okay? Because there's no, there's no number before this, so it has an invisible one as coefficient. So in that case, we say that our a is 1. Our b is the coefficient of m, which is 3. Our c is the constant, which is 14. Now, plug these values into this formula to have. m is equal to negative, our b is 3. So, we have negative 3 plus or minus square root of, our b is still 3. So, we have 3 squared minus 4. Our a is 1 and our c is 14. So we have divided by 2 multiplied by 1, okay? Now what do you do again? You keep simplifying. M will give us negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared is 3 times 3, which will give us 9. When you multiply this, 4 times 1 is 4 times 14. 4 times 4 gives us 16. Take 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1, 5. So we have this divided by 2. So we're going to have m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus. Subtract this is going to give us negative 47. I hope you are with me. And all these are divided by 2. Now you observe that there is a negative sign in the square root. So each time you see this, it is leading you to a complex solution. Okay? Because... The square root is not supposed to contain negative for it to be real. So what do you do? Just quickly remember that m is the same as negative 3 plus or minus. This is the same as negative 1 multiplied by 47 all over 2. If you multiply this, it gives you back this. So simplifying this again, we have. Recall that for every root a multiplied by b it is the same as root a multiplied by root b okay so this is going to guide us now solving this we are going to have n is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 1 multiplied by root 47 all are divided by 2. remember that for every root negative 1 it is always represented using an imaginary unit because this is an imaginary number okay so the unit is always i so each time you have this repress it with what i now putting this back we are going to have our m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus this will not take i is multiplied now this root 47 is a prime root is a prime sort because it cannot be reduced so we're going to leave it this way. So we have root 47. I hope you are with me. All are divided by 2. 
So this means that our M is giving us negative 3 plus or minus, multiply this, you have root 47i divided by 2. So it means that our M2, the second value of M, is negative 3 plus, we take the positive now, root 47i divided by 2, okay? This is the third value, the second value of M. Then we have the third one as negative 3 minus, this, one, this time you take the negative, okay? Negative root 47i, then divided by 2. So this gives us the third value of m. Remember we said that the first value is given as 3. So these are the three values of m as we agreed at the beginning of this tutorial. And I hope you really learned a lot. Don't forget to ask questions for clarity. If this helps you, share for others to learn with you. Subscribe for more tips and give this a thumbs up. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.